the um, military industrial complex is not is not the only one uh, that that sort of manipulates the American public and uh, sets us up to invest in things that are not actually beneficial to us. But in so many ways, the media apparatus, right, like drafts a, a narrative that makes it that when you when you are talking about policies like Medicare for all, when you're talking about policies like canceling student debt, when you're talking about policies of ending homelessness, when you are talking about policies that center our humanity and dignity and safety in not just in foreign policy, but in in public safety policies here domestically, they label you radical. Right? They say everything you are fighting for is controversial. But when you have people who are pushing for policies that get us into war, you know, that, that, that create economic blockade on countries that ultimately starve them and create a humanitarian crisis, or when you're advocating for corporate giveouts, they don't say that person is radical. They don't say that person has a controversial you know, point of view. They don't demonize them, right? Like they celebrate them. They say, oh, this is like a centrist idea. This is mainstream. This is, you know, this is somebody who's listening to everybody in their constituency. When in reality, every policy that I advocate for has 70%, 80%, 90% approval from the American constituency, regardless of whether they are Republican or Democrat or independent. And so it is important for all of us to continue to speak out on the fact that we are in, in these narratives being disproportionately represented, right? The American public is supporting the Build Back Better agenda. They don't just want an infrastructure, the bipartisan infrastructure. They want both of these packages to pass. They want these real bold investments to happen in our country. And in order for our colleagues to continue to believe that and push for that, they have to hear it from their constituents. They have to hear from their constituents. They have to hear from their constituents because ultimately we work for you and we serve you. Um, and some of us have a value base that is grounded in advancing policies on behalf of working people. Not everybody does that. Um, but we listen to our constituents. And if our constituents are loud enough, they change our point of view on particular policies. And so tell your friends who are represented by people other than me to talk to their representatives to support our strategy to get the Build Back Better agenda passed together. Thank you all for having me. Okay.